Hi, this is Lee Rittenauer. It's fantastic being at the USC this weekend. I'm doing a residence for four days. I went to USC a very long time ago and ended up teaching here at the university in my early 20s and met a lot of uh, my friends that, that actually uh, teach here at the school these days. Patrice Russian, who obviously heads up the pop department. This is one of the most exciting residencies that I think that we've had since I've been here. One of the things that's really, really, really important is for our musicians to come in contact with people who exemplify what it really means to be a 21st century musician today. So our guest, Lee Rittenauer, he has a, a particular voice as a guitarist, and he is a craftsman. His assignments were to go to Frank Potenza's class. I had Lee's records when I lived in New England. As I was a fan as a kid, and somebody told me about him, and I had first chorus. And to be able to sit there as a guitarist, watching young guitarists, interact with the rhythm section and offer them a critique. I think this is like really a valuable part of the experience is to get what it is to sit with professionals and function at the level that you need to function to be able to make them feel as though you're in dialogue and hanging with them. I was talking with Patrice and she says, please Abraham, don't spoil them, tell them the truth. Don't hesitate to correct. Today I'm going to see a lot of guitar players. I believe Ndugu is playing drums and Abraham Laboreal is playing bass. And uh, either one guitar player or a couple guitar players will get up and, and uh, lay a chart on the guys. I hope that what they gain from the time that they spend with us is if you're going to love music, you cannot do it with a half heart. I want them to know what it is to be in that situation where you have something on paper that you think is what it needs to be and put it in front of professionals and have them go, yes. It's really uh, interesting to watch the guitar players interact with the rhythm section and with us, the audience, and, and uh, comment on, on their, uh, that experience. I noticed one thing he was doing that so many guitar players do, I've done it myself. When you were playing your solo the whole time, you were down there checking out your neck. Now that's okay, you know, I'm not saying you yeah, always have to, you know, look at the audience and smile. <laughs> but when an audience that is non-musicians, like which most of the people you're going to be playing for in your lifetime, the perception from the audience is that, well, he's still learning his instrument. I want you to play the same solo, I either want you to look at us or close your eyes. This is the best guitar program in the world. It's definitely provided me with the opportunities I've been looking for. It's been wonderful. A lot of great playing opportunities, a lot of really nice people. It was a lot of fun. Very, very intimidating. You know, definitely right off the bat, looking at the chart and, you know, kind of tearing me up for it. <laughs> if someone writes a chart, even if it's on a napkin or a piece of toilet paper, it should be correct. And then the music will be correct. Some of it doesn't go so well, but they all learn something. All their critiques were, you know, definitely correct. That was definitely cool, just seeing someone who's known for exactly what we were doing. You play the part just fine, but you gotta figure out how that brother, which is not the easy part, put that grease into that part. So it was pretty valuable to, to hear that coming right from him. Incredible experience.